Yo, what's going on Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. Today, none of the usual plugs, but a very important message. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's okay. I'm going to link a playlist in the description that will better explain what I'm talking about. I'm basically going to make a long story short. If you guys know what's going on with the FTC and COPPA, it's a pretty scary time to be a YouTuber right now, especially for uh, card games and video games and gaming in general. Uh, the way it looks like it's going to go down is, you know, we could get seriously hurt as creators for creating this type of content I don't, again i don't want to get too far into it but i will link that playlist down below i will also link the petition to sign for change and the link where you can make a comment to the ftc and basically if you guys get informed about this or are informed about this you can help keep content pure and the way it should be on youtube so if you guys want to help me out that is the number one way you can do that today i really appreciate you guys listening to that with that being said we are getting into this video today so Set 8 has obviously introduced new color combinations, blue, green, and red, yellow, but old decks and old strategies get a lot stronger with Set 8. Set 8 is really a marvel to look at. Like, so many different things are, are coming out of this. You know, obviously, like I mentioned, the new archetypes, but we also have great support for older decks. It really is like a staple set, a great set to invest in if you're new. Um, I think that you can get a lot of value out of this set, as well as if you're an older player that has older decks, I think there's a lot of value to that. So. Basically, what we're going to do today, talk about a bunch of these new cards that do help these older archetypes. Let's get into it. So, number one right off the bat, and I really think this is probably the prime example of this, Chi Chi, Motherly Majesty. Auto, if you have two or more red-green multicolored cards in your energy, when you combo with this card, draw one. This is potentially the best red-green card to come out of this set. Like, this card is just so high value. I mean, if you have the red, the two red green, it's a super combo for 5k. The main thing this is going to be used for is your arrival pieces. So if you're a Clash Coup player, if you're a red green Broly player, if you're a red green Yamcha player, this card almost becomes an automatic four of staple. There's just no reason not to play it. It's cycle helps with your arrivals and red has much better arrivals than blue yellow does because they're much more aggressive. They interrupt battles. They pop things. They give double strike. They're really solid. So Overall, this is one of the best cards red green gets. And, and to be honest, like blue green and uh, red yellow, they're still kind of finding their identity. Red green kind of already has that. Clash Coup has been very successful in the past. So the fact that it's getting this much of a buff amongst other cards we'll talk about, it's really solid. So Chi Chi is honestly probably my favorite card from this set in, in talks of that. And still talking about red green, obviously I have Topo pictured here. Topo is not a new card, but we have to talk about Beerus Godly Majesty. So I've talked about this in a few videos already. Very simple. The main effect we're looking at here is when you discard it, you play it uh, if you don't control one in your battle area already. So red, red, green decks, they're already playing Topo. Think about Pan. Think about red, green, Gogeta BR. Again, think about Clash Coup. They're all playing three to four copies of Topo. Beerus is a green card. Beerus is a green card for arrival. Beerus is a green card for charging. It just synergizes so well with the deck that, you know, now that you have Topo, you get a free 15k body. I think Pat, my teammate Pat O'Neill, already put a uh, deck profile of a newer Clash Coup deck up on the 3XG YouTube, so make sure to check that out. But again, this is just like, you know, Reese's uh, peanut butter and chocolate. Like, you just play them together because they work so well together. It's really awesome to see this type of support. Now, a card that is kind of weird to me that I don't quite understand yet but it is red green support so we'll talk about it sun goku energy salvo energy exhaust permanent only one you play in your battle area activate battle if you have a red green multicolor in your energy choose one of your red or green battle cards with energy cost of three or less place it in the owner's drop area play this card from your hand in rest mode then choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of one and ko it so like i guess you get to ko one drop but you also have to sack one of your battle cards so i don't really see this card being too much of a great piece of support but it is there so i did want to kind of talk about it if you have a better usage for this card definitely let me know in the comments below actually now that i mention it i guess oh well, it doesn't actually ko your own things i thought this would actually be a way to proc your own things by KOing, but it doesn't even seem to do that so let me know in the comments below again if you have a better usage for it now we have a bit of kind of direct raditz support but it's really just red, good red green support so we'll read these next two cards Sand Technique, Grade 8 Vegeta, Energy Exhaust, Auto. If you have a red green multicolor card in your energy and your opponent has four or more non token battle cards in play, when you play this card or combo with it from your hand, choose all of your opponent's battle cards with 15,000 power or less and KO them. So, this is just a board wipe for red green. Like, this is insane. It only hits a very specific amount of things with 15,000 power or less. But again, like that, 
that power of the card is still there. It's a very, very strong red-green card. Then we look at Raditz, Arrival of the Invader. Energy Exhaust, permanent. If you have a red-green multicolored card in your energy, reduce the combo costless card in your hand by one. So it becomes a 0-5k as long as your deck does what it's supposed to do and charges a red-green, which, you know, you should about 95% of the time turn one. Auto, when you play this card, your opponent reveals their hand. Then you up to one battle card in their hand with 35,000 power or less. Send it to the owner's warp, and this card gains critical for the duration of the turn. So a few things here. Uh, the auto, when you play it, kind of just an added bonus. You're not really going to do that very often, in my opinion. Uh, but it is there if you want to use it. And again, this might be like, they might have thought this was a direct piece of rad uh, Raditz support. It really isn't that great in Raditz itself, because tapping out for a 4-drop in Raditz is very bad most of the time because you don't have energy to defend yourself if you're especially if you're getting aggro down and of course both these cards are searchable in raditz but they're probably not best used in raditz they're probably best used in other red green decks and good thing they are red green generic support again raditz arrival of the invader you get a zero energy investment that gives you a one card combo for an arrival both this and the chi chi serve similar functions both are insanely good so there's just no reason not to play them master roshi masterly majesty auto choose one multiple card in your energy and returns the owner's hand when you combo this card choose one card in your hand and place it in your energy in rest mode so this is a blue green com uh, not a blue green a blue and x color combination combo piece that is very similar to chi chi motherly majesty in the sense that it helps with your arrivals now you don't get that same advantage that chi chi gives you but you do get tempo and that's a really cool thing about this card you know turn one let's just say if you're in blue green you turn one charge your android 16 ramp card and you attack combo with this you can get the ramp card back to your hand because you needed to charge dual color turn one right now let's say you you know it's been a turn or two or, or three maybe you've drawn to another dual color that would be better in your energy and not in your hand and you really need that 16 you combo with this card you put that more dead card in your energy you get the 16 back and then you can you know then play the 16 or likewise you can combo this as a blue grab an arrival from your energy put a new blue green or blue yellow whatever in your energy and then combo the appropriate color next to it and play the arrival so this is a really cool tempo card i kind of like chi chi more because typically you can be a little more selective with your charges so i prefer the advantage that chi chi gives but this master roshi is super good for those type of situations i just described Next up, we have a piece of support for the Zamasu Blue Yellow deck coming out of the tournament pack, I believe. So let's give a quick read of what this does. So 3 drop 20k Zamasu, indestructible, energy exhaust, permanent. This card cannot attack leader cards. Pretty weird because it is a 20k, but we'll see what the rest of it does. Activate main once per turn. Choose one Zamasu or Goku black card in your battle area and return it to the owner's hand. Choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Okay, this is pretty cool actually because you do have, you know, free play blockers of Masus. You have very cheap Goku Blacks and a free play Goku Black as well as long as you have, I think, like five energy. So this card basically bounces those to your hand, essentially flutes them. And in the case of the Freeze Amasu blocker, you just play it again, like really good. And this thing can swing over battle cards. So this is kind of a way to help remove battle cards, help uh, whittle your opponent's advantage. And uh, I like this card a lot, actually. It's a it's a decent piece of support for Blue Yellow Zamasu. Not a card that I think is going to make it tier one or anything, but I think it is a really cool card. Now we have another energy salvo. Again, these cards really kind of confuse me. Uh, so blocker, which is kind of neat, I guess. Uh, energy exhaust permanent. Only one Vegeta energy salvo can be played in your battle area. Activate battle for one energy. If you have a blue yellow multicolored in your energy, choose one of your blue or yellow battle cards and energy cost three or less, and place it in the other drop area. Play this card from your hand and draw one. This I see a little bit more utility out of than the energy salvo Goku because the while the energy salvo Goku does KO a one drop. This thing comes in in active mode, draws a card, and comes in as a blocker for one energy. That's pretty cool. Would have been cool. Probably would have been broken, to be honest, if this thing, like, fluted something back to your hand, like blue typically does. So getting rid of a battle card is probably okay. And if you're just playing one drops, like cantrips that draw one, this really isn't that much of a cost. You know, all you have to do is really pay the one, get rid of a little weenie that you don't care about anymore, and play this as a blocker. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool effect. Then we have, for blue-yellow, we have Hit Rapid Movement, the equivalent to Raditz Arrival of the Invader. So Energy Exhaust, if you have a blue-yellow multicolor in your energy, place this, uh, reduce the combo cost of this card in your hand by one. So this is blue-yellow's one energy 5k combo that becomes a you know zero combo when you have that multicolor energy for your arrivals. Auto, when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. I love this effect. I love the flexibility of this effect as a removal piece in blue-yellow. Uh, definitely going to look into playing this in my uh, yellow Gohan deck 
and this card's awesome too because it's u6 and it's playable in u6 kava where you're only restricted to u6s and this can severely help with the cost of something like the uh you know arriving the chop of bottles into play this card's really cool next up we have masterful technique weiss and this just helps to uh, the same type of thing we talked about with clash coup but it's also better for uh mono green strategies you know mono green attacking the blue green cards where you play freezy healing pod and uh it's just we talked about this in the last video where this is one of the cards you want to pick up it's an uncommon and you can loop some really powerful revival plays reviving uh beerus godly majesty using frieza army healing pod really cool combos there Bulma the Problem Solver, another piece of red-green support. If you have a red-green multicolor in your energy, reduce the, co the cost of this card in your hand by two, so it becomes a one-drop. They really only want you to play it in red-green decks, not anything else. Choose one red or green extra card in your deck with an energy cost of two or less and place it in your drop area. Then shuffle your deck when you play this card, draw one. So the first thing that comes to mind, this can dump Dormant Legend to the drop area. This card is really what the uh, the Sun Goten from the Magnificent deck should have been. That card really only works in Broly decks where you already have a way to get to Dormant Legend because your leader brings it out of the deck immediately. And that requires you to play more copies of Dormant Legend, which isn't always optimal. It usually actually really isn't optimal. And this card fixes all that. It's a one drop. It draws a card. It dumps a, an extra card. And it's pretty much always live. You know, if you're going for game and you just really need to draw cards and filter your deck, you play this card, you dump in the gate because you don't want to draw it, you draw one, and then you have extra combo power, and you know you weren't going to draw that dead in the gate. So that's pretty cool. This card's really flexible, helps other decks splash the Broly engine. Like I had some friends messing around with Red Green Skillless, so you can play this in that. Any other Red Green deck where you want to potentially side deck the uh, Dormant Legend package for certain matchups, this card, super cool. Next up, we have Dragon Ball Negative Energy Overflow. This is a general buff to the entire game in a sense. This, this Seeker Rare essentially becomes the Seeker Rare you should play if your deck has no better Seeker Rare, right? If your deck can somewhat efficiently get seven battle cards to drop area, if you're playing a burst leader, if you're playing something that combos a lot and you don't have a better Seeker Rare to play in your pool, this is just a really good Seeker Rare to play. Activate battle, at the end of this turn, choose all battle cards ignoring barrier, place them in the owner's drop area and it reduces the cost of the card in your hand by one for each battle card in your drop area it doesn't have to be different names so that's pretty cool i mean if you can you know efficiently get maybe you know five six seven battle cards in the drop area by turn three turn four where most decks are going really wide and popping off if they're aggro this is a great secret to play and it's just one you should play or consider playing or side decking uh if your deck has no better secret rare my a sudden encounter this card's pretty cool permanent this card can't be played uh by your card skills from any area so you can't like chain attack it you can't world piece it anything like that activate main if you have four or more energy place this card in its owner's drop area choose one blue yellow multicolor card battle card with energy cost of four or less in your drop area and play it in rest mode so this is essentially a three drop like child's wish or world peace however you want to look at it for blue yellow battle cards and that's really cool i mean you know we just got the hit of world peace recently and this is almost a replacement for that it's much less generic which is fine and it's playable in non-wish decks so this is a pretty cool card for a three drop you get to basically cast a four drop from your drop area this is cool again another decent card to consider in the yellow gohan deck amongst other things and the final card guys potent technique vegeta not too insane but it's pretty cool still blocker auto if there is a blue yellow multicolor card in your energy at the end of a battle in which you combo with this card from your hand play this card so it's almost like a pseudo combo but instead of like a pseudo combo you get a body of a blocker on the board and that's pretty cool like i can i can honestly see blue yellow janemba playing or teching this card you know this is really solid and then like yellow broly decks or yellow you know gohan decks you have button and you can combo this card into play it's essentially a less investment than an arrival bojack and uh you don't get to tap something but you do get a blocker out of it so really cool flexibility and like this isn't a card that immediately shines right now but this is a card that i can honestly see being very playable in the future so really cool overall i think set eight is doing a great job for older decks and you know quote unquote legacy players so uh, i'm really excited for set eight man i cannot wait to open my product this weekend I really can't but let me know what you guys think in the comments below what decks are you guys trying to play this upcoming format are they old decks that are supported by these cards are they new decks let me know in the comments below guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time